Welcome back. Market's holding on to gains. It's 20,787 on the Nifty, a good 100-point rally, while the Sensex has picked up close to about 300 points. Uh, let's get you another corporate conversation going. My colleague Vivek caught up with Bhanu Prakash Srivastava, Chairman and Managing Director at Bharat Electronics, BEL, and began by asking him about the demand trends and whether the company is on track to achieve their order inflow guidance for FI24. Listen in. Yes, uh, as far as uh, our business performance, it is on track, though uh, there are challenges in execution front, but our team is working hard to sort it out. As far as order inflow is concerned, yes, we stick to our guidance. Uh, even up to, if you see, 31st October, we have already clocked around 16,000 crore plus order. And uh, seeing the pipeline, we are definitely going to cross 20,000 crore guidance, whatever we have given. So that's great to hear. So you're saying that there is an upside risk as far as the order inflow guidance is concerned. Yes, yes, it, it is definitely going to be in plus side. So that's great to hear. So the earlier FY24 inflow guidance was 20,000 crore. The company says that there will be an upside to this particular number. Along with that, you know, yes. FY24 revenue guidance you had given between 15 to 17 percent, a 40 to 42 percent gross margin guidance, and a 21 to 23 percent operating margin guidance. So, any upside risk to these figures that you've given analysts earlier? See, see, we we stick to uh, uh, margin guidance uh, of uh, that 40 to 42 percent, and we also stick to that EBITDA margins what we predicted around 21 to 23 percent. As far as revenue is concerned, yes, uh, seeing the conflict between Israel and uh, that uh, Hamas, because we have uh, certain projects which are dependent upon Israeli supply, we are finding some challenges which we are uh, trying to sort it out. Uh, the way ceasefire has happened, we hope that uh, things will be back to the normal and we will be able to achieve our revenue guidance of around 15 percent. 15 to 17, what we were uh, telling at the start of the year, now maybe uh, around 15 percent we will be able to do because of uh, these type of challenges which we are facing uh, in the market. So, so the key takeaway so far has been that uh, you know order inflows continue to remain quite strong, execution challenges do remain. So, you know, at, as far as the revenues are concerned, as far as the top line is concerned, it will probably be at the lower end of the guided range. We understand that, sir. Yes. So, yes. talking but, but about Q2, we are very confident that we will meet the meet the guidance. Maybe it may be at lower side. Absolutely, sir, absolutely. So, Q2 was quite a strong quarter for you. You know, strong margin expansion as well. However, you did mention, you know, in the analyst call a little later, that there was a certain portion of the revenues that was deferred to Q3. Can you give us some more light on that? And how will Q3 look in terms of revenues, especially given there will be some deferred revenue recognition from Q2? Uh, yes, yeah, see, some deferred revenue from Q2, it shifted to Q3, but seeing that uh, challenges, what we are facing, uh, some revenue may be deferred from Q3 to Q4 also. Uh, so, uh, Q3 will be a normal, uh, what uh, growth we get, and it will be more uh, tilted towards our major uh, things may happen in Q4. This year, Q4 will be a little bit heavy uh, because of some deferment of revenue from Q2 to Q3 and some Q3 going to Q4. So, we also have to keep in mind that H2, you know, is also the run-up to the elections. Against that backdrop, yeah. you know, how does ordering activity you know, pan out as far as on-ground is concerned. Secondly, you know, in terms of big-ticket autos, what we understand is that the QR SAM segment is better compared to the MR SAM segment. So, can you elaborate, you know, where do you see further or incremental order inflows coming from, especially in the surface-to-air missiles? See, uh, I don't think uh, election is going to have any impact, at least order inflow on BL is concerned. Uh, we are, uh, uh, anyway, we will be exceeding what guidance we have given in order inflow in 23, 24. Uh, because whatever predictions we have given, we already reached around 16,300 crores. And uh, that orders from uh, shipyards, especially uh, GSL and GRSC are definitely going to come in this financial year. Uh, similarly, that uh, EW system, ship-based EW system also is going to come. 
and uh, fuse orders which has been pending for a very long time and it has been going through the process of acquisition in mod what i understand it is at the last stage so any time it can come so definitely order inflow we will be exceeding what guidance we have given as far as qr sam is concerned uh, services are in the process of finalizing the gsqr and then making the statement of case then going for even so this is uh, uh, this will be most probably next year only these things will happen and the ship based order and other land based order many orders are in pipeline mrsm also uh, they are discussing so uh, these things uh, will come in next year and next to next year so election uh, may not be having much impact as far as order inflow and bl is concerned and this year definitely it is not going to have any impact so i'm going to try to pin you down to a number uh, the current order book is yeah. in excess of 68700 crore with all of the order yes. inflows that are expected where do you see yourself ending fi24 at in terms of the total order book see i i i, I have to Uh, calculate that uh, after we have not see uh, we are targeting a turnover of around uh, see uh, 20000 crore roughly if 19500 to 20000 if we say uh, that uh, guidance of 15% uh, we are reaching there so uh, half yearly uh, we did around uh, 7300 at the end of october it was around 8300 so if you see around 12000 crore uh, revenue is left out and uh, <clears throat> order inflow uh, we are at around 16300 so 12000 uh, 8 to 10000 is coming so it it may be around uh, the same range that's what we see uh, exact figure uh, you come to know on 31st march uh, where we ended up Okay uh, you know that's the management of BEL in conversation with my colleague Vivek